Hey there, history buffs. Today we're diving into the captivating past of one of Scotland's most iconic cities, Edinburgh. From ancient castles to mysterious underground vaults, Edinburgh is a city that breathes history. Let's kick things off with Edinburgh Castle. Perched on Castle Rock, this fortress has dominated the skyline since the 12th century. It played crucial roles during the wars of Scottish independence and has been the residence of many Scottish monarchs. Imagine standing there overlooking the city just as so many kings and queens did centuries ago. But Edinburgh isn't only about grand castles. Have you heard of the Royal Mile? This historic stretch connects Edinburgh Castle to the Palace of Holyrood House. As you walk down this cobblestone path, you're literally treading in the footsteps of history. From street performers to ancient buildings, it's like a living museum. Now, let's descend into the eerie depths of Edinburgh's underground vaults. Built in the late 18th century, these vaults were initially used for storage by local businesses. But over time, they became a hideout for the city's less fortunate, and according to some, a hotspot for paranormal activity. If walls could talk, the tales these vaults would tell might send shivers down your spine. Speaking of spine-tingling tales, no visit to Edinburgh would be complete without a mention of its dark past. The city was home to infamous figures like Burke and Hare, who in the 1820s turned to body snatching to supply cadavers for medical research. Their gruesome deeds have become a chilling chapter in Edinburgh's history. But it's not all dark and mysterious. Edinburgh has also been a beacon of enlightenment. The Scottish Enlightenment in the 18th century saw the city become a hub of intellectual and scientific advancements. Thinkers like David Hume and Adam Smith walked these very streets, contributing to the foundations of modern philosophy and economics. And let's not forget the literary giants. This city inspired Sir Walter Scott, Robert Louis Stevenson and more recently J.K. Rowling, who penned much of Harry Potter within the cosy confines of Edinburgh's cafes. So whether you're fascinated by royal history, dark tales or intellectual triumphs, Edinburgh has something to offer. It's a city where the past and present coexist in a mesmerizing blend. Until next time, keep exploring and unearthing the stories that shaped our world. Thanks for watching.